Jesus Christ, we pray. And everybody say amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn around and greet somebody next to you. Amen. I just want to sing this a little chorus. I will sing. I will pray. Even in my darkest hour. Amen. I will sing and praise the Lord. Amen. How many feel that way? Oh, hallelujah. If that's your desire. Amen. Sing with me. Just lift up your hands. Lord, you seem so far away. A million miles or more it feels today. And though I haven't lost my faith, I must confess right now that it's hard for me. Know what to say? I don't know where to start. But as you give the grace, oh, with all the same, oh, lift those answers. I will sing. I will pray. Oh, in my darkest hour, through the soul. to love one another. Amen. This is my commandment that I love one another and my joy will be full. Oh, sing with me that chorus. Come on, musicians. Let's put those hands together as we praise our God. Oh, that you love one another that your joy oh, may be full. Oh, That you love one another, that your joy may be full. Let me hear you say, Well, this is my that you love one another, that your joy may be full. That your joy.
know the song, sing with me now. Well, this is my one, that to love, that to joy, oh, baby, fool. Let me hear you say, oh, well, this is my one, that to joy, oh, baby, fool. Oh, let's clap our hands now. Amen. Let the weak say I'm strong. Let the poor say I'm, I'm, I'm rich. Amen. Let the blind say I can see. Amen. If you know that song, sing with me. Let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. Let the blind Say, oh, what the Lord has done. One more time. Oh, let the wind say, I am strong. Oh, let the moon say, I am free. Hallelujah. Let Everybody lift up their hands up to the Lord. Oh! 
Amen. You just write on my heart. And I mean it. Amen. Why are you laughing? Amen. So I'm actually meaning it. But uh, I'll try to give as many people as possible. Amen. If I don't call you, I've not intended it. But we have another service. And most likely we'll try to give everybody an opportunity. Even we have a campfire. Amen. Amen. So just pray for me. Amen. So... Uh, there are those that came yesterday. Amen. I went with the, uh, as I was getting out, they were looking at me with some eyes. Amen. But uh, I promise. I promise to be a, a good person to you. Amen. So uh, I just want to uh, welcome, uh, amen, this, this person by faith, a sister by faith. From Voice of God, Vugiri Church. Amen. You're welcome, sister. God bless you, church. I'm happy to be in the presence of God. I want to sing a song in Nyankole. It says you shall go home when time comes. And if you know that you're going home, may you be free to join me as we dance for the Lord. <laughs> Bye. 
Amen. Amen. I wish it didn't stop. Amen. Sister, by faith, God bless you. Amen. Amen. We will interpret it at the campfire. Amen. <laughs> For those that didn't get it. Amen. But uh, just prepare to dance today. Prepare to dance. If you <laughs> forgot your dancing shoes. Amen. Don't blame me. Amen. So uh, I wonder where to go. These brothers have given me many papers here. Amen. So uh, there's a sister here. Uh, this one is a sister from Soroti Sang. I want to call uh, Sister Mercy K. I mean, to come and sing her special song. God bless you, saints. The title of the song is Mercy Said Me. God bless you to be saint. I was just a child when I felt the Savior leading. I was drawn to what I could not understand. For the cause of Christ, I have spent my days believing that what it helped me be is who I am. As I've come to see the weakest side of me,
hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank God for his mercy. Oh, where would I be if it wasn't for the mercies of God? Amen. God bless you, my sister. I just want to call upon my brother here uh, from Kitari, Kenya. Brother Abel. Amen. Where is Brother Abel? Amen. God bless you. I would, I would like to sing a song that says the good old fashioned way. Amen. In the good old fashioned way. In the good old fashioned way. I am going home to glory. In the good old fashioned way, in the good old fashioned way, in the good old fashioned way, I am going home to glory in the good old fashioned way. I am on the gospel highway, marching onward to the goal. Where for me I rest remain in the homeland of the soul. Every hour I'm moving on, not a moment to delay. I am going home to glory in the good old fashioned way. In the good old fashioned way. Hey, in the good old fashioned way, I am going home to glory in the good old fashioned way. In the good old fashioned way, hey, in the good old fashioned way, I am going home to glory in the good old fashioned from the snares of sinful pleasure Here my feet are always free Though the way may be called narrow It is wide enough for me It was wide enough for Daniel And for David in his day I am glad that I can follow in the good old fashioned way, in the good old fashioned Hallelujah, in the good old fashioned way, I am going home to glory. Oh, in the good old fashioned way, in the good old fashioned way, oh, in the good old fashioned way. I am going home to glory in the good old fashioned way. Many friends have gone before me, they have laid their armors down. With the pilgrims and the martyr have obtained a robe and crown. On this road, they fought their battle, shouting victory day by day. Oh, I shall overcome, oh, and join them in the good old fashioned way. Oh, in the good old fashioned way. Hey, in the good old fashioned way. Hallelujah, I am going home to glory. Yes, in the good old fashioned way. Yeah. Oh, in the good old fashioned way. Amen. I am going home to glory. In the good old fashioned way. Just a few more steps to follow. Just a few more days to roll. And the way grows more delight. Oh, and the clouds are 
love rolled away Oh, I shall find the guest of heaven In the good old-fashioned way Amen in the good old-fashioned way In the good old-fashioned way I am going home to glory In the good old-fashioned way Yes, in the good old fashioned way. In the good old fashioned way. Hallelujah, I am going home to glory. In the good old fashioned way. We are going home to glory. In the good old Amen. If you're going, we'll sing with Brother Abel. Amen. Amen. Brother Abel, I'm going with you. Amen. Amina. God bless you. Amen. There is uh, Sister Mwende from Nairobi. There's a special song. Amen. God bless you, saints. I'm going to sing Jesus' love of my soul in Swahili. Then, then I'll sing one stanza in English such that those who are not able to join in Swahili will join in English. Yes, Chen Uba 
a quick announcement. Uh, if you're seated on a seat, don't put your books on the side. Amen. Because the deacons will think you've booked for somebody. Yet our brothers are still coming in. Amen. God bless you. Amen. So, uh, I want to call Sister Ruth from YMCA Church. Evening light, uh, bright tabernacle. After her, then we'll have Nairobi group. Amen. Sister Ruth, uh, you're welcome. Amen. So, Looks like she, she's not in yet. Okay. Oh, is she the one? Oh, she's the one. She's the one. Is she coming with a group? Get church. Then sing a song called Take the Name of Jesus with you. God bless you as you listen. Child of sorrow and of woe, it will joy and comfort give you. Take it wherever you go, precious name. Oh, how sweet! Hope of
Nova Nina Fe. Blessed be his holy name. Amen. So I just want to invite the Nairobi group. Amen. To come and sing their special song. Uh, good morning, friends. God bless you, saints. Uh, we want to show you how we do it down in Kenya. And, uh, we've had a representation from Kitale. Uh, God bless that brother who sang wonderfully. So, uh, we want to show you how we do it in Kenya. This is a uh, a composition from one of the saints. You believe in songwriting? Especially songs of the hour. So we are going to sing a song called Nita Tembea, Nita Ishi Koiman. The interpretation of it goes, I will walk and I will live by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We read a portion of Hebrews 11 yesterday. By faith, Moses, by faith, Noah. And I want to say this morning, by faith, Prince, by faith, the youth in DVF, by faith, the youth of Speckled Bird, and we stand here by faith, the youth from Nairobi Church. So you can join us as we sing this song, I will walk and I will live by faith. Yes, that perfect faith, that super sense, that looks beyond your weaknesses, that looks beyond all the symptoms, that looks beyond all the sorrows and all the fear. So let us arise and walk by faith.
defeated life. When you live a life of faith, you are going to be victorious. And you want to be victorious the way our fathers were victorious. Praise the Lord. So we want to go and start singing. We were told that this is our time, right? This is our time to write another book of Acts. This is our time to walk in the footsteps of the apostles. the greater works, right? And this is the time. We don't want to postpone. We do not want to say that we shall rise. No, sir. But Christ in the true church is the continuation of the book of Acts. So we want to write the book of Acts this morning. Hallelujah. Let us sing that song. It says, Inandika kitabu kingine, tamatende ya mitume. You know, the scriptures in the Old Testament are the end it, it ends with a what? It ends with an amen. But the book of Acts, does it end with an amen? No, sir. Because you have a part to write. I have a part to write. Kwa hivyo tuandike kitabu kingine cha matende ya mitu. Matende wa takatifu ndani yetu. Rom takatifu ambe tunampokea akitenda kazi yake. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
excited from Nairobi now. But we are so grateful to Nairobi. Amen. Amen. You appreciate our brothers from Nairobi Church. Amen. God bless you so much. We appreciate you. Amen. I have a feeling the, the, the ministers around the corner. Amen. Let's just get to our feet. Let's give a special hand clap to the special singers. Amen. God bless you so much. Amen. Turn around and greet somebody next to you. Tell them, God bless you, my brother. God bless you, sister. Oh, hallelujah. Take your time and share a moment with someone. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to his holy name. I woke up this morning I didn't have no doubt I knew that the Lord would bring me out I went down on my knees I cried out, help me please I got up singing and shouting victory Oh, victory
But I remember the Bible. When the ark was coming in the house of the Lord, there was a shout. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen, I mean, brother. Help us with the song that, uh, Amen, we sang in the morning. Amen. Please come over here. Amen. I, I was told he has a good copy of it. <laughs> Do we know that song? I went to the enemy's camp and I took back what he stole from me. Took back what he stole from me. Took back what he stole from me. I went to the enemy's camp and I took back what he stole from me. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. Satan is under my feet. I went to the enemy's camp and I took back what he stole from me. Took back what he stole from me. Took back what he stole from me. I went to the enemy's camp and I took back. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. Satan is under my feet. I went to the enemy's camp and I took back. Took back. I took it back. I went to the enemy's camp. Took back. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. Satan. Under, under my feet. He's under my feet. Under my feet. Satan. One more time. I went to the enemy's camp and I took back what he stole from me. Took back what he stole from me. Took back what he stole from me. When I went to the enemy's camp and I took back what he stole from me.
If I continue from where you stopped, I am feeling I So let me just invite the preacher. I have a lot of preliminaries. I'm going to put it out of the way. Because I feel we need to hear the word. Now. You agree with me? Everything else we'll do it after. After we hear what God has said. It's the right atmosphere for the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Where is the devil? Satan Ariwa. Once you are again, Musa. Where is Satan? Satan Ariwa. Hallelujah. Amen. That's where he is. Hey, Jari. That's where he belongs. Hey, Jari, no better. Amen. If he was on top of your head when you came, Bwaba ya bade kumutwe go we wajide. Take him where he belongs. Mutwale Jari, no better. Under your feet. Once you are again, you are going to step on devil. Talk on the stand. You are going to step on devil. Ogen ali ya kumizim. You are going to overcome them. Brother Timothy, there is a song you sing. That I'm dancing on devils. I want you to sing it. You think you can? I'm dancing on devils. I'm dancing on devils. I'm dancing on devils. I'm dancing on You'll get it tonight. You can't remember. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I feel charged up. Brother David. Just David. come. I don't want to go into anything else. Yes, God bless you. Come and appreciate our brother David. Hallelujah. We've been blessed. Now, this is Brother David's last service. So if God ordained for you to get anything out of his ministry, if you haven't yet, this is your moment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My. What can we say? Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we are. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. While the brother was singing that song, Satan's under my feet. It reminded me of, and Brother Timothy, he spoke about Esther. I'm not going into that story now, but it just came fresh. And how Haman was there, the Antichrist spirit, to destroy God's seed. But now she was chosen. Just like we are for such a time as this. What does the end of the story tell? Total victory for God's seed. Now it reminded me why we were jumping and shouting and not an emotion but a reality. Even the Jews up to now, amen, they have a feast called the Purim. Amen, and, and, and if you look it up, and I studied it, and it, it's a joyous feast. It's a joyous gathering. Amen. And they do it in remembrance of the death of Haman. And what they do just to show their position and I'm bringing it to you now to show our position. They write the name of Haman under their footstool and they dance until the name of Haman is erased. Well, church, 
Well, church, Kanisa. it's about time the bride of Jesus Christ all starts worshiping not an emotion the dynamics on the mechanics the reality rejoicing of what Satan is finished he hates Genesis he hates Revelation I know where I come from I know where I'm coming my Bible tells me his end is near. Brother Timothy said it. The end for who? who? Yani. The end for who? Komerero yani. Satan. Yes, Satan. But oh, glory be to God. Mukamaye I have a mansion over there. Nene nyumba wakuwe yo. I have a wedding supper waiting Nene for me. Nene chidule Amen. So these meetings. Kate mwa na zimu. We want to make sure. Kwa gara kaka sa. Satan under our feet. Satan itu mteka aswe rigere. And no matter what you need, make it. Sisi onga chori mo. Start writing it down and putting it on the feet. Tani kuchua ndi kwa aswe Hallelujah. That's where he belongs. Well, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was free. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. My, my, my. The prophet says. We should never let the spirit of revival die. You know, even when this day is over. You will go back to your countries. Go back to your churches. And you may tell me, Brother David, well, you know, we don't worship like this. You heard the word this week. Let the worshipers arise. They that worship in spirit and in truth. Amen. So it's not a one day revival. It's not a one day jubilee. It's a continuous jubilee. Amen. That's the bride's revival. Amen. They don't put it on the word as the bride receives the word. Amen. So it's not just glorious today and tomorrow it's back it's over. that's not what my bible tells me it says from glory hallelujah amen so don't let the spirit of revival die amen 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 certainly and it's such a great honor to to be here with you Amen. You feel us so welcome. Thank you from the depths of my heart. We feel at home. And you know I heard it many times said in Europe and other countries. You know the African people have something and even Brother Branham speaks about it. But you know in Christ there is no African, no Belgium, no Swiss, no French, no American, no Canadian, no Russian, you name it. There is one bride. And she has the bride's revival. Why? Because she received the word. Amen. So that's, yeah, we worship like you do. Amen, Brother Timothy. Hallelujah. Because it's a reality. Because it's a reality. Amen. So certainly I want to thank you from the depths of my heart. Amen. We love you dearly. If I cannot shake all of your hands. I love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Thanks to the musicians. Wonderful work. Wonderful gift. God bless you. The translators, all those that have labored. Amen. All the pastors who came. Amen. That brought their, 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 the flock here. Young people. We are blessed. We are greatly blessed. And also those that work behind the curtains. For the food, for your Thank you for all you have done. And may God richly bless you. Amen. And thank you once again for the Brother Bosibozo. For inviting us. Amen. And I say it. 
I've been greatly blessed. You have blessed me. Amen, amen. amen. So let's go to the word. So as the word will be spoken, don't let the spirit of revival die. Keep those amens going, those hallelujahs rolling. Amen. One Peter two. Peter the chapter two. Verse four. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Verse 6. Chapter 1 Peter 2, verse 6. Peter Kubanga waliwo mchawa ndiki wanti, laba nteka musayuni e jinje kuru, erioku nsonda e donde, eriomu wendo munji, Era amukiri zatali kwa siwansoni. And to you therefore which believe he is precious. But unto them which he dis be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner. Romu samfu, kare erimu abakiriza, omuwendo munji, na yeri abatakiriza, e jinja abazimbiri abagana, erori eriafu kwa mutogu oku nsonda. And a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. Ere jingeri e sitaru wako, eroru wazi, orusura, kubanga be sitara kuchigambo, ngateba gonda, era kwebe, kweba tekeru wawo. But Uganda, Kenya, Ethiopia, wherever you are, Kenya. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. How many are happy and thankful? For the evening light. There is light in this gross darkness. And we give all the glory to God. Amen. 1 Corinthians 3. Verse 11. Just one verse. 1 Corinthians 3. Verse 11. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. May God add the blessing to the reading of his word. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we count it such a great honor to be standing in your presence. Father, millions of people. Lord, don't have the grace to be standing here. But Lord God, you chose us. We are the chosen generation. You chose us for such a time as this. And Father, Lord, as we surrender now, we pray, Father, May you take full control over the service. May thy will be done, Lord. May you take me out of the way. And may you speak to us, Lord God. Bless the speaker. And bless the hearer, Father. We pray and ask these things. In Jesus Christ. Amen. You may be seated. For a title this morning, I'd like to take, this is the uniting time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
We saw a couple come forward here yesterday. They're about to get married. Amen. And did you see on their face? There was a big smile. Did anybody go to a wedding where there was weeping? Sadness. If that is the case, poor you. Amen. So I'm not going to talk about their wedding. But I'm going to talk this morning about an invisible union. That is going on right now. Amen. And as we read the scripture, I lay in Zion. I lay in Zion. The prophet tells us that Zion is always the bride. Amen. And the bride has received a message. Amen. An open book. Christ coming down. Revealing the seals. Opening the seals. Amen. What is the opening of the seals? Revealing Jesus Christ. Who is Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ. Our head. Amen. He is our foundation. We cannot lay another foundation but Jesus Christ. But he is also our head. And so many builders reject that stone. But for the bride. For the believers. It's all a precious stone. The stone that in Daniel 2, and for the sake of time, you can write it down or you can uh, listen to the, 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 the message again. But the stone that is referenced in Daniel 2, verse 45, is the same as in Romans 9, 31, also in Revelation 1, amen, also in Revelation 10, and also in Daniel 7, amen, Daniel 7, speaks of the ancient of days <laughs> amen, whose garment was white as snow <laughs> and the hair amen, of his head <laughs> like pure wool does that sound familiar? We heard this is the third exodus. The pillar of fire at night. Amen. The cloud by day. Amen. God didn't leave us alone. He made sure. He made sure. He said, I will send you my spirit. I will guide you all through The ancient of days, whose hair is white as wool. Brother Bram says, I've seen the ancient of days. The same yesterday, today, forever. You see when he speaks about it. It's in symbol form. Amen. His hair was white as wool. Ten thousand times ten thousand. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. And by God's grace, it's been photograph just just remind me please what magazine published it was it death was it was it death was it the end of time do you think this is just a coincidence with God there is no coincidence it was published in Life magazine because this is the only life that is Jesus Christ amen amen so we have the answer to Satan God has vindicated himself God has proved himself amen his promises in this day. Amen. Amen. You know what the prophet says? Headship is here now. That's why so many people Many people don't want to accept that precious stone. They reject the mess. They criticize the cloud. They criticize the pillar of fire. That was you know what that just, just shows me? You know, the, the Bible tells us that we are known by our fruits. But to 
Those that believe It is precious It's a reality It is life It is my head Amen, amen Amen Christ the risen Lord is here in the same power of his resurrection. You're not hearing me. Christ, Christ the risen Lord is here in the same power of his resurrection. It's God himself coming to a place. Amen. And he's governed by the body all the way through. Then the complete body is revealed in the form of a bride that was taken out of his side. That's why we are a chosen nation. A peculiar Bob with a precious price. Many people called me an oddball. Many people called me a holy roller. Many people called me Pentecostal. But let me back up with the word. Amen. I'm going back to my origin. Where the Holy Ghost and fire is a reality. Not an emotion. Not a religion. Not a denomination. It's an experience. Amen. That's why after the opening of the seals, the prophet says, Amen. In the, in the message of rapture, in the sight of God. I took my glasses off. I'm not going to ask you to take your eyes off. But you know, we always look through our eyes. We have senses. But there's a sixth sense that has to put this whole body in obedience to the word of God. So it doesn't matter in your eyes. I don't want to know what you think about me. I want to know what God thinks about me. So inside of God, the bride is justified. She's never done it in the first place. She's standing there married. To the virtuous son of God who never sinned in the first place. She stands there virtuous. Mama, mama, mama. John saw what Daniel saw. Daniel 12. But he had to seal up those things until the end time. John wasn't allowed to speak it in Revelation. But what happened when he saw the plan of redemption? John is a type of the bride. Revelation 10, 7. You know that scripture. But in the days of the voice of the seven angels, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God shall be finished. And he had declared to his servant. Now, the Greek lexicon finished is Deleo, Leho, to do just as commanded. And it says generally involving a notion of time. Listen carefully now. Don't fall asleep, it's the morning. Because it's important. Because when the bride realizes who she is, the will take place. So there's something important about the opening of the word reading Christ. Amen. So it shall be finished. It says to perform the last act which completes a process. It is finished. Where are the accusers now? It is finished. But through the lapse of time, we forgot who we were. Why we were here for. Amen. But we are here what for? To manifest God's word in our lives. Amen. Revelation 22. You know. And I, John, saw these things. And heard them. And when I heard them, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel. We showed these things. And he said, see thou do it not. 
Lord. I am thy fellow servant. The brethren of the prophets. And of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. Don't worship a man. Are you hearing me? Don't worship a man. No matter how great God is using. Brother Branham says, God gives a gift to someone, blesses him, and as soon as he starts, he thinks he has something. You know what happens? God pulls away draws. So if God sent us a messenger in our time to reveal the word to what to be a mouthpiece but to reveal means the seals are broken the mysteries are revealed we don't need somebody else to come and step on the platform now the seven thunders have uttered their voices we don't need somebody to come and tell us what the thunders are about because it's been revealed in the seals that's what the thunders is about so worship God and God alone. And then verse 10, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book. The time is now where the word is in the bride to do the greater works. Amen, amen, amen. When you read Daniel or even some read the Revelation, it's a symbol form. But glory be to God for the bride it's an open book. Amen, Brother Branham says of the seven thunders which equals seven mysteries have already been revealed. If you don't know it maybe it's some teaching it's some powerful teaching were they revealed in the seven seals but yet are not known to us as thunders no they were revealed in the seven seals that's what the thunders is about amen you are the pure you are the pure virtuous Virtuous, mm -hmm. sinless, bride mm -hmm. of the Son of the Living God. You know, Brother Branham, Branham. he went to visit this uh, iron factory. How many remember that story? Some of you do. Even if you visit this factory, so the the manager presents him and how everything works the foundry and, the, and then at the end of the shift there is a big magnet coming down because while the pieces are being made, made are, are, are fashioned thank you Lord are shaped some pieces fall. So this big magnet comes down to pick up all the metal. Now Brother Branham, he visits a manufacturing plant. He starts screaming, Hallelujah! Glory be to God! Brother Bussy Bozo, come what on. are you so happy about? Okay, let's have a look at it. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the kabaka. Amen, the capstone will cap the pyramid. Amen, and all these steel is magnetized. Amen, only his seed will be raptured. Amen, the prophet of God tells us without the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you're not raptured. Amen, amen, amen. So that's, these meetings are important. Not because I am here. Brother Timothy is here. 
Because God is here. It ain't about us. Don't worship him. Don't worship God. Nothing can stop the seed from being raptured. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. And you know the prophet he realized. That it was, there was something that wasn't magnetized. Do you know what it was? Those that were bolted were bolted down. Chained down by their tradition. Making the word of God of no effect. But there is a bride that can rejoice. Put Satan at its right place. Because my head, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ told me I am precious in his sight. Amen. Another thing. Another thing about a magnet. I don't know if you tried it. But you know, a magnet only magnetizes iron. Magnet is so much of a iron you can fuka magnet did not wear. And when the iron is magnetized, because the iron is already one, so you can magnet in a year. There's something particular happen. We are quite the way we are going to talk about. There's something specific happening. What we are going to talk about. This little iron, these iron parts. Oh, we are going to talk about iron. When they are magnetized to the big magnet, they have a particular specification that when they are magnetized, the iron becomes a magnet. A magnet. Hallelujah. Woo. Amen. Yes, sir. Will the bride have a ministry? Oh, um, yes, she um, will. Hallelujah. Amen. The ministry of Jesus Christ on this earth now. Glory, glory, glory. That's why you can only be magnetized to the head. Amen. No, no apostle, no bishop, no preacher, no church. When you're magnetized to this head, you are magnetized to this head. You won't be raptured. But when you're magnetized to the head. Oh mama, 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 soon and very soon. Amen, amen, rapture is so. Amen, that's the say the word of God. And there won't be several raptures. Listen, don't play the game. When you say. Maybe I'll wait for next service. You know when you take a bus, you can say, "Oh, there's another one in a half an hour." Bus we kule koga, but we don't have taxi zitao. If I miss my plane, well, maybe there's one tomorrow. Enyonye we ende kanari nyaya emiratesi. There's one rapture. O kwa kuli ba kuli kumu. Make sure you're ready. Fubo mere mu etege fu. Make sure. You have the wedding garment on. What's the wedding garment? The bride has made herself ready. With the revealed word. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now the prophet brings the magnet to what I'm speaking about. The capstone will just come. Right straight together. Like a magnet. And they will just seal right together. So let's just fit ourselves to meet that cornerstone. Let us love and project our lives in Christ, Christ and be sincere and stay with the word. 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 Until when he comes, listen how he says it. We just fit right in like a glove over the hand. Fena tuja kuyingi la munga tuja mu burundi. Tuja kuba tuja mu. I don't have to tell my head. Seta gagamba mutwa guno. That he should adjust the wedding dress for me. Uh-uh. 
The wedding dress is perfect. And he wants to shape me. So I can have the wedding. The pure word of God. That's why the Bible says we'll all have the same clothes. What a spiritual union of Christ Christ and his church now when this flesh is becoming the word and the word is becoming flesh manifested vindicated just what the Bible said would happen in this day and it's happening day by day we are nearing the coming of Jesus amen where the word becomes the word You know, we were all accused and are accused by the accused. But I love what the prophet said. From the beginning, you were predestinated. Hallelujah. Amina. Chosen. Walondewa. Elected. Walondewa. To be a son and a daughter. Of God. Katondo, mwaro, bo, um, now Job. Yobu, you that have all this wisdom. Let me ask you a question. Where were thou? Waje, wali, before I laid the foundation of the world. Nisingi, jansi, Amen. When the morning stars. E kumacha, for joy. Kana, and the sons and Naba, naba katonda, Were what? Having a wonderful time. Brother Branham says, Brother Branham says, We were worshipping with Jesus. The plan of redemption was being revealed to us. That's why I can shout this morning. And I can worship this morning. Because I am redeemed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, many, many, many. Amen. Only the predestinated are considered in redemption. Redeems means to bring back. To redeem anything is to bring back my original place. That's not my birthplace here on this earth. It's not Uganda. See Uganda. It's not the United States. United States. It's not Switzerland. Switzerland. I come from God. Na very katonda. I go back to Israel. Katonda. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. To bring it back to that original place. Chiko miawo wali wechari mkusoka. Chovola bakatonda. Finally. Bring back all the loose ends. Akomiewo biona. Anyweze biari bitali biweze. Omogole ategere chari. And she can know what's the original place. Amanye wane jeyava. Like the prophet says. Nabi agamba. You've never sinned in the first place. Toyo no nanga nako. Does that mean you will never sin and you don't need to ask forgiveness? No, no, no. Because he who says that never sins is a liar. Amen, but we have the blood that is given to us through the blood Jesus. Jesus. Oh, he washes me once. He sees me. I've never done it in the first place. Hallelujah. Redeemed means to be brought back or to be put in the right position. Come on, bride. Many people reject that stone. But it's precious to me. Many people reject the word of God. But it's precious to me. What that word does, because that's just say the Lord, not William Branham. Branham. He would have made an enormous mistake if he wouldn't have come down. Singa 
But that's thus say the Lord. And this word positions me as what? As the pure, virtuous bride of Jesus Christ. That's why Satan has put me under my feet. Amen. He has no dominion over me. I, we, should be Satan's, Satan's worst nightmare. Amen. Instead of Satan haunting you down. Come on, bride. Instead of Satan coming after you, you go after Satan. Come on here, Satan. Let me kill you. Let me destroy you. Let me destroy you. I'm the pure person. Bride of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What does that mean? When you're the bride. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When my wife, when she goes to the bank, when she goes somewhere, she goes as Miss Mayor. Amen. God bless you. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. My word is her word. That's why. That's why. What the prophet says. Because the prophet said nothing of himself. It was God speaking through him. Amen. So if Satan stands in front of you, you say, the wedding ring is already placed on my finger from before the foundation of the world. So get thee behind me, Satan. You finish. Go. Victory's gone. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's to be put in its right position. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's continue. Men and women are in this earth to be sons and daughters. And the Holy Spirit, through the blood of Jesus, redeems us back to our right position. To be sons and daughters of God. We heard preach last night about the Jubilee trumpet. You know, we have such a grace, saints. Years back, it was every 50th year. Hallelujah. We can have a daily jubilee. Why? Why? Because what was lost, what was closed, is now being opened to the bride so she can be put back to its rightful position where we had before the foundation of the world. And you know what? When a slave when a slave once he's redeemed he can never be sold to the anymore. Amen. So once you'll be set free you are free indeed.
When Satan comes, Katisitani waja. Just remind him his rightful position. Let me ask you a question. Since when since when do winners do winners listen to losers? So, not only from this time on, but until the rapture, just put Satan at his rightful position. That is under my feet. Under my feet. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today he is standing among us in the person of the faith. Holy Ghost manifesting himself more and more and more. Think of it. We have been chosen for such a time as this where God is manifesting himself more and more and more he's coming into his church amen making himself known just looking for a quote here we might as well destroy or utterly destroy coming into his church making himself known because him the bride and the groom will be the same and in making himself known. And the word was in the beginning will go back to the beginning which is God. That's why we are a word bride. And at that day what day? Thank you, brothers. What day? This day. You shall know that I am in the Father. The Father is in me. Here we are. You know, the prophet speaks about it's the rising of the sun. In the Bible, we can read about this sun. Amen. And then he links it to the S O N. How many knows that the moon represents the bride? In the natural, the moon reflects the sun. Okay. I mean, so let's look what the, bro, the, 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 the words the moon says a prophet is the wife of the sun when the sun goes away the moon reflects, does it reflect its own light no. does it reflect the light of Branham Tabernacle no. does it reflect the the light of my church. No. It reflects the light of the S O N. We are the bride, which is the moon, to reflect the light of the gospel. And we can't reflect it until he shines on us. Until he shines on me. Shine on me, Lord Jesus. Now listen. In the natural, the moon has given us an authority. Hallelujah. Brother Bram says, if you go to the ocean, you can see those big and angry waves. As they angrily push towards the shore. And they would cover the whole earth. 
if they could. But God said to the moon to watch the boundaries of the sea. So when the moon turns its head, the tide goes out. When the moon turns its head back, the tide follows it. When the moon goes down, away goes the tide with it. When the moon comes up, here comes the tide with it. What the prophet is telling us, those big angry waves of demonic power that try to take a hold of us will come and try to come against us. But God has given us an open book, an authority. When the moon turns, the tie has to go. When she turns back, the tie falls. It makes me think of the scripture. Isaiah 59. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall come to stand against him, and the redeemer shall come to Zion. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And then to them that turn from the transgression into Jacob, hey. say the Lord. Hey. That's, That's the, the power, power of the moon. Amen, amen. The rapture will take place. The church will be taken home. And when we will be taken home, then the great tribulation will set in. Amen, amen. 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 The Bible says in Matthew 18, they ask the question. I thought the church was to be raptured up before the tribulation period. So that's true. He says, the church. No, not the church, sorry. Not the church. But the bride. Only the bride is raptured. Not the church. Because the bride is redeemed. So when the enemy comes in like a flood, there is a bride on the earth that draws alive. The boundary does not go any further. It's about time. The bride starts drawing lines. Get behind me, Satan. Don't go any further than this. I claim my God-given privileges. I claim my family. I claim my son. I claim my daughter. Even when the tie comes, no matter how big the way is, Speak to the storm. Who is this man? Who is this woman? Amen. I'm bringing now Jesus and present tense. Amen. Amen. Who was they said? Who is this man? Um, Not even no the yani. winds obey. Not even the big gondera. waves obey. No but now in this generation, no who no. is this bride? No. Who is the word of God? Oh, no. For face no. value. No. For no. the truth. No. Let it be me, Lord. Let it be me, Lord. That's the time of the uniting. When the seventh seal opened, there was silence. Many people scratched their heads. They didn't know what was happening. For the bride, there's a real uniting. As he reveals his secrets to his bride. Glory be to God. Let me ask you a question. Why should we be afraid of the tide? We heard, we heard spoke. We heard spoke last night. Of Moses. He was going into my quotes. I forgive you, Brother Tim. 
It shows one thing, saints. This ain't an organization of Brother Timothy and Brother David. Let's try to line up some quotes. And this is God on the sheet. Hey, when God came down and rewrote the whole sermon, hey, man, because he knows what we have need of. So we shouldn't be afraid. Hey, Amen. How big the waves are. How deep the ocean Look. Hey, man, don't fear. Speak and go forward. You know why? Because the pillar of fire and the cloud the same is with us. Amen. Hey, man, when you're right. He's with us. And in us. You know when they faced the Red Sea. Probably there were some. Because you know, there are always critics around. Whatever you do for God, there's always going to be critics. So here stands Moses. I've been commissioned. Just speak the word. You get a chigambo. So now, Kati, mm -hmm. she is there. What is Moses going to do? They were watching. I'm waiting to get it. He chechi daku, chechi daku. Azakoj. Okay, now. Amen. One time, says the prophet, we're taught in the Bible that your people, when they're in the line of duty, and we are in the line of duty, here, when they were crossing the Red Sea, and the sea got in their way, on their way to the promised land. I'm on my way to Canaan's 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 land. I'm on my way so if there's a sea before me, if there's a big wave before me, I know my position. What happened as the critics were watching just Moses? As so many people criticize, even today, they miss it. A million miles. Or kilometers, nowhere in miles here, huh? Kilometers. Okay. But now let, let's see. This Red Sea comes in front of them. On their way to the promised land. God looked down through that pillar of fire with angry eyes. And the sea got scared. And he had to open up. Saints of God, you are not alone. He's never left us alone. He gave us an open boat. He proved his word. The fire is here. Now there's still a cloud. Satan has to move. Satan has to move. It's about time. Oh, but the bride realizes. Brother Brenham tells us. Brenham this is the uniting time. We are not going to the uniting. We are going to the feast. To the wedding supper. The uniting goes on right now. Right here. And let me tell you saints. I'm getting ready. Oh for a feast. And getting ready doesn't mean I just sit. Sorry, you don't see it. But. 
Kale temunda vye na yaba daga mba kutula no saloko. Okuli na tejite geza funanga teme tula o saloko umure. O sure nanga. No. I heard the jubilee trumpets. And I'm getting ready for a feast. You know what that feast will be? There's going to be shouts of joy. That's why I rejoice already. Because you know why? I've seen my name in the book. I've seen my position by God's I go to the angel. Take the open book. I eat the little book. And I become the little book. So I know. My name is written in there. I have a name. My name is written in there. I have a name. My name is written down in glory. My name is mine. At that table. That table. That table. That table. Thousands of miles of the wedding supper. I have a chair that has my name on it. How do you know, Brother David? Because my head told me Jesus Christ revealed to me and nobody can take my seat. Nobody can take my place. God chose me. We are a chosen generation. We are elected vessels for His glory. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I continue for a little while? Can you get your cook at home? Hallelujah. Is this mine? Why don't you give a hand up for praise? Watch him come at home. I can have a drink. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We saw that John, John, Yokana, when he saw no one was worthy to open the book, to break the seals of the he wept. He knew it was over if nobody could. But then here comes the land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The original owner. That had the book of redemption. In his right hand. No angel. No angelic being. And nothing else could take the place. But this bloody lamb. Took the book out of his hand. What was it brother? It's the most sublime thing in the scripture. An act. An act. An act that not an angel. No, nothing could do it. Only the lamb could come forward. Coming from the right hand. Of him that sat upon the throne. Now the members. Of his bride. The names. Were put in the lamb's book of life. When was my name written here? Sorry, brother, but suppose that's my chair. I'll take this. When was my name written? Why are my doing this, saints? Because when was my name written? So you start feeling the pain. When was my name written? Why am I doing this, saints? Because that's what happens. Before the foundation of the world, I am the one that is written. Before the foundation of the world, I am the one that is written. Before the foundation of the world, I am the one that is written. Before the foundation of the world, I am the one that is written. Before the foundation of the world, I am the one that is written. Before the foundation of the world, I am the one that is written. Before the foundation of the world, I am the one that is written. Before the foundation of the world, a place. I have a place ready for me. Amen. Hallelujah. And now, 
He says, and now it's being revealed whose names were in there. So when John saw that the lamb came forward, took the book, and not only took the book, but opened the book. Everything in heaven, everything in on earth, My Bible tells me Bible yang ngamba and everything under the earth Na buli chimwe chali wansi wensi So you cannot overshout Kati to somala leka na munosusa People think it's just an emotion Abantu baloza habo bacha se Since I saw my name in the book Na nabe erinya mu kitabo I am so glad. I can but shout. I can but give glory to God. He has chosen me. He has saved me. He has redeemed me. He has justified me. He has already glorified me. So everything under the earth if you find a little animal under the earth, they heard John scream. They heard John shout. He saw his name in the book. And they want to call me to Pentecostal. This ain't an organization. The word was restored. I will restore. Yes, we are gamba and Jacuzza. He restores us back to come yawo to the true Pentecostal experience. Amina. Yes, we have the full word. Tuli ne chigamba mubutuvu. But if you cannot rejoice, something is wrong with your revelation. Something is wrong with the word. You can have the mechanics. So it's mechanics. That it becomes intellectual. But you need the dynamics. All the mechanics. And that will take you in the rapture. So if John, a type of the bride, can shout so that everything in heaven, everything on earth, and everything under the earth heard him rejoice. Oh, let me have my freedom then. Give glory to God. The prophet of God says, he just really Dala. was having a great time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, saints of God, are you having a good time? Yes, just for to, to, to shut up the mouth of the critics. You know, in the world, they say, oh, oh, we, had a, a, we had such a great time. Ah, we you know, we shouted. We jumped. We sang. That's not what I mean. John, you can. when he saw that the lamb came forward, and he alone was worthy to look upon. No man was worthy. So it ain't Brother Branham. Christ himself came down to, re to reveal himself. So then when Jaw saw that the lamb opened the book and he saw his name he could rejoice and have a good time. So when Christ is revealed personally to you you rejoice you have a good time in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen.
That's the reason I think, says the prophet. Trying to find a space to wind up here. That's the reason I think John was doing a lot of shouting. You know why? He must have seen his name there. And that revelation can only come from our head. But you need to have Jesus Christ as a foundation. That's why so many people, even in the message, this precious stone has been rejected. But to me, he is my everything. So why shouldn't we shout? Because I was lost. But I am found. I was lost. Walking in the world. Having plans maybe to be an actor. God had other plans for him. Amen. Amen. We can make plans. But our plans are not his plans. So let's make sure we seek his will first. And his will for us is to do exploits. Amen, amen. You know, coming back to John, let's nail that demon one more time. Because I hear the sound of freedom. The sound of our Jesus Christ that is blessing his people. People are receiving their revelation, their right position, putting Satan under their feet. Amen. John must have really had a Pentecost of his own. So you go against Pentecost? I'm not talking about a Sousa Street. I'm talking about the upper room experience where brothers and sisters have to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The word says when the mighty rushing wind came in Amen they climbed out of the windows they wanted to go out what are you, brother David? I'm drunk of new wine. But what I have received, what I have received, what I have received is the message of my head. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And he is uniting right now, day by day. Amen. He had a Pentecost. You want to talk about a happy time? A happy time. I tell my church back home I love to see God's people happy. How can you be in a church? We got the mechanics. We got the mechanics. The word is so important. Brother Branham says, and they say, hey, Amen. 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 Like a dying calf. You call that dynamics? No, sir. No, sir. Nedda. When I hear the word of God telling me, Amuse. my Jesus, yes, telling me, Nganamba. I am a chosen generation. I've been chosen for such a time as this to do the greater work, to do the exploits, to be his wife. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. I'd rather lose my voice worshiping Jesus Christ. Amen. I 
don't want to be a dying cow. I don't want to be a stone. I want to be a living stone. Giving a sacrifice. I go and sit down with Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Amen. You know Satan. Satani. Those two spirits. Antichrist spirits. And the Holy Spirit. They will be working. In the framework of the church. In this end time. That's why there's so much opposition. And they call Brother Timothy. They call us. Our church is going to Pentecostals. They haven't got any revelation. And I said I will all respect. I don't consider myself better. But no matter who you are, we're sinners saved by grace. And nobody has the right to appropriate the revelation that God Himself has given to us. And it says it's the revelation that God has given to me. I I have come now to reveal you what the seals are. To reveal you what the thunders are about. No, no, no. You come too late. God sent me a vindicated prophet and told me what the seals are and the thunders are. That's why the bride has a true jubilee. With the full restoration of the word comes the full restoration of the power. Come on, saints. These are my words. These are Jesus' words. Amen. So nobody has a right. Christ Himself is standing and revealing this divine revealed truth. And we couldn't have a jubilee about that. Oh. Don't mind the noise. It's a sound of freedom. Those that don't like me, don't mind me. I have a jubilee within my heart. A joy that nobody can take away. The Holy Ghost that I have. The world didn't give it to me. And the world can take it away. The joy that I have. The world didn't give it to me. But Jesus gave it to me. Nobody can take it away. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Ma, 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 Lord. Abafe. Daniel 11. Daniel 11. You can stay up, you can shout, you can do whatever. There is the spirit of the Lord and there is liberty. I'm really trying to find a space here to wind up. Daniel 11, verse 13. Daniel 11, verse 13. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flattery. But the people that know their God they shall be strong and do exploits. The lexicon, the Greek lexicon says wickedly to be condemned. When he talks about the people, it's troops, kindred. They that do know, the word know is yada, is to know by experience, to be acquainted with, to be revealed. So this is, ain't a man. 
If a man Omuntu. can come and give you a revelation, tomorrow somebody else will come and give you another revelation. But when my head, Jesus Christ, reveal himself to me, jendi. nobody can take it away. I know I am part of his pride. To be strong means to prevail upon, to grow firm, to be secure, to be secure, to be secure. no worries, bride. We are his. Any husband who doesn't take good care of his wife is not worthy of his precious wife. Oh yes, we can quote. I know I can hurt somebody here. It's God speaking. Wives must be submissive. So. So. <laughs> Can I quote you the rest of the scripture? Love your wife like Christ loves your So if Christ, now think of it, if Christ would be like this, we would be all lost. But he loves us so much that I have no problem submissing to him. Saying, Lord, let it be according to thy word. I accept it, Lord. I love you, Lord. They will do exploits. A deed or an act. A heroic act. Heroes of the faith. It didn't end in Hebrews 11. Because when there will be another branch, a court, another book of Acts will be written. That's up to us now. Continue the book of Acts. We do exploits. Heroic Acts. Amen, amen. So that's what we have to do. Why? Why? Because the pillar of fire and the cloud, our head is with us, even in us. So why should I shout, Brother David? When Brother Branham went beyond the curtain of time, all the musicians there, because otherwise I'll preach. Why don't we stand? When Brother Branham, Organa Branham, he goes beyond the curtain of time. Saints, we are such a blessed people. We have proof that the land is flowing with the so let's not have the defeated attitude. Let's have the real bride attitude. I am the chosen. Jesus. So when the prophet went beyond the curtain of time. Are you ready? He says there that morning. That quickening power came. And he let me look over the curtain of time. You know what he says? And I take that for me. I seen all of you over there. <laughs> 
You don't want to believe that? That's okay. But I rejoice. My prophet went there. And he told me. I've seen you over there. Where were you? Before you were born. When your name was written. In the Lamb's book of life. It was before the foundation of the world. And now by God's grace. He came down in our generation. To open the mystery. Reveal these truths so we can positionally be blessed. Now, let's go to verse 15. So, do the exploit saints. Put Satan back in its right position. Because this is the uniting time. From the front to the back. This is a united time. Not just some emotion, not just an ordinary meeting. But God comes down, we see him meeting after meeting. He comes down, reveals himself. You may be thought you weren't worthy. But he said, I chose you. I paid the price with my own blood. I chose you to be my beloved, to be my precious. God bless you, saints. God bless you, saints. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. That's a time of rejoicing. My. I might call you up for singing, brother. It ain't me that live it anymore. It's Christ that lives it. I'm finishing with that one. Christ, Christ living in the individual soul. Surrendered fully surrendered, then Christ speaks through those lips and things through the mind. Sees the and even acts through the temperament Lord, have thine own way. He says, hallelujah. And then he says, how can it be anything but sweet and pleasant all the time? Saints of God, I don't know how many days lay ahead of us. And I know Satan will come on your way as soon as you go back home or even as soon as you go out of these doors. These building doors. But let me remind you by the word of God you're not just anybody. You are a royal priest. A chosen generation. He thought I was worthy. Because he chose me. And that's why I want to give him all the glory. Because he called me. He placed me. And now position me here in Uganda. In Ethiopia. Ethiopia and wherever. To do the exploit. By faith. Brother Busibozo. By faith. Brother David. By faith. Brother Timothy. By faith. Brother Sam. By faith. Brother Samuel. By faith. Sister Esther. By faith. Sister Rebecca. By faith. By faith. By faith. They that know their God. They that know their God. 
will do exploits because our God is still the same God bless you I love you with the love of the Lord if we never see each other again be assured you'll find me there in Jonansanga Mukuru. If you thought that I made too much noise, that I shout too loud, you know you're not going to like heaven. Whoever you are, because in heaven there will be worship, worship. Rejoicing. Hallelujah. There's going to be shouting on the hills of When we will think, talk about these meetings, how people were changed, how I met God, how I got delivered, how God revealed itself to me. That's the rejoicing time oh, we're going to have. Okay. I love you with all my heart. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Can we sing that song? To God be the glory. You know that song? I know. It ain't a shouting joy song. We'll shout after. First, I want to give him my all. To God, all the glory. For the things he has done. Think of it, saints. This morning, the whole weekend, you heard from God himself. We're nobodies. But it, God is everything. I'm telling you. You are my beloved. You are my precious bride. So now move. Speak the word. And the cloud is behind and with us. If necessary with angry eyes. Oh. So that the ocean. So that the waves. And the disappear. Because our God. Is mighty and powerful. Let's sing that song. And give him all the glory. Oh, to God. Be the glory.
that is your testimony. God spoke to you. And it ain't over. It ain't over, saints. God will continue and continue. From glory to glory to glory. From glory to glory to glory to glory to God and God alone. Because he purchased me. He saved me. He chose me. Oh.
just a moment. Everybody lift up your hands. I want you to know that God has spoken to you today. And he does not fail. And while you declare that, while you declare that with your mouth, Chitu kawe ni kuvolio. Let's lift up your hands. And with only the organ, let us sing that. Irangi watali wa organi yoka yuko tuliimbe mukanda. Atale mwa one who never fails. Oh, don't you believe that says? Muto chikiri zecho.
If you're here among us, and you've never given your life to Jesus, and you made a, your resolution to do that, I'd like to invite you. Just come. Maybe you thought you were not good enough. But you've heard the word. You are the value of the blood. Jesus came for you. He did not come for another. It doesn't matter about your life and the things you've been going through. All that matters is if you can make your choice. Friends, let's just be patient. Maybe there is someone. Maybe you've never been baptized in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And today you're saying, Lord, I just want to make that decision. Today is my day. If you are here, I would invite you to come. It is for you Chicho. that these youth meetings have been arranged. If it is one soul, it is worth it all, friends. Maybe there is one more. God has been dealing with you. And you just say, Lord, I want to give my heart to you. I want to be baptized in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because if you don't believe you, if you don't take God at His word, there will be no rapture for you. It's a choice you make. It's a decision you are taking. For souls, we are waiting for more. If God is compelling me, then that means there's still someone else. And maybe you thought you had something, but after what you've had, you feel I want more. I've now known the Lord and I want to make that decision. Is there one more? Is there one more? Is there one more? Is there one more?
could please close your eyes and keep your head bowed that you can kusubiriza maso ga mu mitwe ya mane mujikotoka Lord God there's such a joy in heaven when a sinner gives his heart to the Lord Father they took this step of faith coming here Lord surrendering to you Father So I pray now Father may you bless their lives no matter how young they may be. We know, Lord God, that you have a plan for their life. So, Lord, as they took a position for you, Lord, a stand for you, you take a stand for them. Satan, you lost the battle again. And we give you all the glory, Jesus. Father, there's... No one like you, Lord Jesus, that can touch your heart like you do. May you watch over your children. Bless them, Father. May they be a mighty testimony in their family, wherever they go, Father. May people see that they have met Jesus. And as they have taken that decision, Lord, to act according to the word, to be baptized in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of their sins. Father, I know without a shadow of doubt, you promised it. You shall give him the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Bless your children. They are yours, Lord God. But we are so thankful for all you have done. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. 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 Could you please stand up? God bless you. Praise God, Church. Come as we can, Isa. I'm Penina. I came with my sister Faith. Would you please come? I'm Penina. I am the name of God. I'm with Faith. My sister Charity. Ne, sister Charity. Brothers and sisters, I am Penina. I'm Penina. Protestant, you know, the Anglicans, when you're still young, they baptize you. And when you reach about two years, you are confirmed. And you say you are old enough. I was confirmed in 2021. But then, I feel like I wanted it. But then, I feel like I wanted it. But then, I feel like I wanted it. So, like in our schools, the white men would come and say, Jesus, I would still not feel it. So, yesterday in the evening service, as we were praying, I decided I wanted Jesus to be here. Amen. 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 
Hallelujah. Brethren, do not be ashamed of Christ. Our Lord has the saving and healing power. Thank you. That's just a sound of freedom. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To come and help me. Find out where they come from. Just they will work with their pastors wherever they are coming from. To ensure that they get baptized. And follow him. Now wait, wait, before you go, wait. I have something else. Just a few minutes. Just a few minutes. Just a few minutes. Just a few minutes. Does each of you have a Bible? Do you have a Bible? Which language? English. Which version? Okay, what about you? Sorry? Which, which version? What about you? Uh, what about you? Version? Which version? So I'm going to remain with her. Again, I said, no, no, but you are going to follow them afterwards. Okay. Now, sister. I think this is a, a wonderful moment by the way. I was just telling the brothers when uh, we were preparing this youth meeting and we announced we were announcing it everywhere on the internet that there's a sister who has been following our services online from the USA her name is called Lisa St. John. And uh, she, she wrote me, she said she has this burden. And she would like me to give her that opportunity to be able to hand a Bible to people like her. And I'd like to ask her a question. How many are here in this meeting that do not have a King James Version Bible? Just raise up your hand up high. Okay, now I'd like you to walk, to walk up here. Right. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you, if you, we are going to make investigations. If you have, we shall tell you to go back. It's all right. So while, while we are waiting on them coming here, so. Uh, the sister asked me to give her that opportunity and not that she had a lot of money she does not have money actually but together with her children they started collecting as much as they can find so that we can they can be able to give these a King James version Bible a King James and I'd like to ask, uh, where's Sister Kukonza? Brother Isaac, Brother Sam, help me. We, we want to do that in 10 minutes. Alright, you can just stand wherever you are and look the other side. Yeah. So someone is going to come and hand you a Bible and you go back. God has already provided okay. for you. Okay. Um, Hallelujah. Amen. Is the name of the Lord. But Deacon Mlode, help me. Let us do this really fast. And uh, as you will be receiving those Bibles, I want you to remember to pray for that sister. She has a lot of needs. But she has an abundant heart that loves to serve God. Uh, we stamped her name. On, on those Bibles, so you remember to pray for her. Sister Kukonza, let us be a little faster. You give all the way from there. I'm sure she would love to see that. So the, the people on the camera. Please. 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 Okay, 
So when they give you a Bible, just go back to your seat. We back to Bible in God's name, much fortune. says donated by Sister Lisa St. John of Washington, USA at DVF Youth Meetings 2024. Sister Lisa St. John of Washington, America Somewhere, but she's not here. I said the blessing is for, is for those who are here. Amen. 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 Just wanted to take this opportunity for just a few moments to invite the team I forgot to mention a few churches. And this can be quite serious because it means they are neglected. We did not forget any of you. Only that yesterday we, 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 were, we had representatives and they took quite a lot of time. So we, we have believers here from Buguzi. Buguzi. Buguzi is uh, quite a bit uh, uh, far in, the, in western Uganda. Are they still here? Can you please stand up? Hallelujah. Amen. The quite a number that came from there. God bless you so much. We have a deacon from there. Actually, our, one of our deacons in the church 
came from that church. His father is the pastor of the church there. And also we have some believers that came from Kakira Church of Pastor Sempa. Yeah. God bless you so much. And also from Bride of Christ Tabernacle of Pastor Elijah. Alright, God bless you. Restored Fifth Tabernacle Chikaya. I think there was no representative yesterday. Restored Faith Tabernacle Chikaya. So we can also stand up. So we can recognize you. Anybody? Alright, God bless you. God bless you so much. Thank you so much for coming. Part of them have been on the team. Where, where is Brother Brady? Why are you hiding there? God bless you. He's a, been a good pianist. Amen. Uh, from Entebbe Church, Pastor Miti, are you here? Stand up so we can see you. Yeah, God Amen. bless you. Bravo. Uh, from Kahendero Church, Pastor Sebanda. Yeah, over there in the back. That is Kasese. Hey, Kasese. Quite a distance. We appreciate you for coming. From Kalaji Church, Pastor Odida. Yeah, over here. God bless you, my sister. Amen. Uh, from Nakavle Church, Pastor Musulube. That is in Eastern Uganda. Nakavle Church, okay, Pastor Musulube. Uh, from Sironko Church, Pastor Sironko, Makova. Makova. God bless you so much. Makova, God bless you, my sa. sister. Amen. Uh, from Soroti Church, Pastor Mwata. Nakavle Soroti, Musumba Mwata. I, have, I had registrations from there. So maybe they, they stepped out or they left already. Uh, then uh, there are some that came from Pastor Bujungo. Are you here also? All right. Our deacon here. God bless you. Now, if I've not mentioned you, I request you to stand up. If I've not, yesterday we did not talk about your church. And even today. Huh? I did mention speckled bird. We even had Pastor Nathan here. I think the brother came late. Right? You were well represented yesterday. So, uh, or maybe do we have members of speckled bird that came today? Tulina them speckled bird abazendero. Oh, okay, everybody from speckled bird stand. Okay, God bless you. Thank you for coming. Brother, you are standing and you are not sure. Are you also part of them? Alright, so anybody else that have not, if we do not talk about your church? Yeah, where are you from, sister? Where are you from, sister? Nakuru. In Kikuyu, in Nairobi. God bless you. Let us give a hand. God bless you so much. The message of the hour, the Chikuyu. My future sister, where are you from? Voice of God Church. In Nijiri. God bless you so much. Ava, Ava Budiri, voice of God Church. Uh, quickly, someone take a microphone. Mangudala. We don't, we don't have time, so please help me. Let's be a little fast. God Just bless you. Name and the place. Uh, Grace Tabernacle Church, Busia, Pastor Otagate. We mentioned that yesterday, but God bless you. You're welcome. Uh, brother, which church are you, do you come from? What power, Tabernacle Church, Mango. God bless you so much. Thank you for coming. Yes? Same place? From Moroto. We had, I think, Pastor Otuya here. Is Pastor Otuya here, by the way? No. Are you from Brother Otuya's church? Okay, come and, uh, and uh, speak. Well, the Lord bless you. Uh, I'm Brother Benjamin from uh, Kenya. I told Uganda Benjamin Okuve, Kenya. The fellowship is from Mombasa. Asabida Echekanisa Eva Mombasa. Married in Karamoja. Gaya Wasa Karamoja. <laughs> Most of the churches around here, especially. Here in Kampala, where I used to come, where my wife was. Amakanisa Gasinga, Nadaraga, Mukampala, Mcharoji, Aria Savida. Yacharanga, you know. My friends have seen them around here. Iran never can have a game, Balava knew, Balava and Iran him son if you know. But I've been doing some work in Karamoja around a family work. Name but then name in Mujen, Kore Kalamoja, Ejewaka. 
referred to the work of God. Kati Nacho say ngora mlimu ya katunda. I can give a testimony. I think yesterday brother was speaking about me. Erampa obujulizi nte jondo zolgana dayo gera kunze. Maybe I'll give in another time. Usanga ja mkama ba home mksa. I'm telling him we have the last service. Nyuka matuna service esemba ye obujulizi. We'll begin with you. God bless you so much. Anybody else that we've left out? We don't want to leave you out. I see people pointing somewhere. Oh yeah. Where are you from? No, that is well represented. Lifeboat is famous here, so it's not a new thing. God bless you. Anybody else that we've left out? We don't want to leave you out. 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 Um, some uh, brothers and churches. Lifeboat church. Has supported us greatly. It worked in by uh, in many ways. God bless Pastor Robert. Mukama home so Musumba Robert. Ne na ne bonda ba kula bo. Pastor Jesse has supported us financially. Olganda bus budde at at work it denyo. You know since whenever I prepare these meetings, I have zero on my account. Mbasi na dene chikumi kwa county yangu. But I do it by faith. Nene chikola na kukiiza. Only something on my heart. Katunda wava kuchate kaka kuti maguangu. Mbasi mbasi tunere ansa uzangu. I look at the vision that God has. Tunori ro kole sewa katunda kuari na. Iran nende kwe. I believe he supplies. So, when, I, when many had, several had about what we were planning to do, um, they, they sent in money to support us. And so, uh, Brother uh, Sister Lisa that I've mentioned is one of them. And uh, our church we, we are now, I do not have the figures before me here, but we already announced it to our church. So, we really appreciate it so much. 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 Of evening light. Olganda Dani wamalo kuva mu evening light. May God bless these brothers. Mukama wamu sa Olganda wano. But the Taz, but the Taz were Jeffries. Olganda Taz were Jeffries. He's the first man who told me. Yom saje ya soko kungamba. I I would like. He said two things. Yanga me bintu bibiri. I'd like to come. Nandi agado kujja. No, I would like to come. And also I would like to support. Era njaga la no kuagira. And. He, I think I remember yours properly, so I'm I'm sorry. Era kujukira bulunji. He gave us one thousand dollars. Yatua dollar lukumi. Amen. For these meetings. Kurenkunga nazino. And we never did ask for it. Erate tuazu saba. But he just felt in his heart to give. Ne ya wuri la wuri zimutima kwa kuwa. And we should appreciate him. Erate ino musima. You should appreciate him. Muri no musima. Hallelujah. Brother Marais as well. Olganda Marais na e aina zinika yobuazi. And pastor. Mkuano kwa fedo musumba. Now, Brother Timothy doesn't ever want to be mentioned. I'm talking to you, Brother Moses. But, uh, but, uh, brother Moses. Your brother, Brother Timothy. Name Uganda, or Brother Timothy. In Nairobi, also sent me some money. To to support to support the the God bless you. you. My pastor, pastor, Brother Leo, also gave us some money. And uh, you know, God. Has been sending these to support us. us. And you know, God has already blessed them. By blessing you. You know, whatever we have been taking out of these meetings. It is because of these people that sacrifice and support the vision that God has given us. And uh, we, we still have a a date of 2.9 million. I'm happy for for you that uh, contributed something yesterday in the offerings. And uh, we still have a date of 2.9. And uh, it's the same date as uh, the offerings that have been offered to the Lord. We must pay after this service. We must pay after this service. God will provide it. We are not in a, we're not anxious at all. 
and I want to say this on this note. God laid it on my heart. That if I'm to invite any visiting minister, I should never ask them to sponsor the meeting. Did I ask you to sponsor the meetings, Brother Tim? In our country, and I'm saying this before you. Before In our country, when we see a different, a beautiful skin color like this one, the people think I'm now loaded. I'm now loaded. How many thought that? You know that. But I want to change this mentality. It is a wrong mentality. It's a, a satanic mentality. If, if God has given someone a ministry, it doesn't matter where they are coming from. If we want, love them to come, we should receive them and and take care of them. It should go into our heads. As a matter of fact, we should not only take care of them, but we should also give them love offering. If you believe, say amen. So saints, I want us to pay the the remainder of this money and give love offering to our brothers. Listen, we we are a younger generation. If we don't do it this way, our children will also do it the wrong way. We have to correct some of these things. We have to correct some of these things. And relate with people from America, from Canada, from whatever. As brothers. God bless you. Thank 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 you. He's, he's older than me, he's my elder. Same thing to Brother Timothy. No, Uganda, Timothy Same thing to Brother Taz. They're all my no, Uganda, elders. Taz, I don't worship them. They are my brothers. And this is how we should see them. And I think in the whole of Uganda, Uganda yuna, the only area that does it right is Karamoja. Ye Karamoja. Where are the Karamoja believers? Stand up. You see these people here. Let me say this. It's Can't the honest truth. Karamoja, Karamoja is the poorest region in Uganda. How many have ever gone to Karamoja? You see? Not many, many of you don't even know Karamoja. Down here in the center, we used to think there are people who don't dress. But when the message went there, it changed their mindset. And made them dress. Made them change many of the things they were doing. And these people here have changed Karamoja. And Karamoja. And, and whenever I go to Karamoja, listen, when we came to Karamoja, I've gone there many times. But you remember I came with a brother from Canada. How much money did they give you to arrange a meeting? Say the truth, Pastor. Say the truth. Come here on the microphone. You have to say the truth. I'm sorry, this is very important. For, 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 this, this, for these youth meetings. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is one of the major pastors there. Hallelujah. Uh, for us there. Uh, How much did you receive for the youth meet, for the meetings we arranged? How much? How much did Brother Michael from Canada give you for the meetings? Ah, not yet. Not yet? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, tell us for you. But, but the other day, he, they gave for me you, 1.3. It is me who sent it to you. It is not him. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we also talked about that already. Yeah. So, so we were talking about, um, oh, you thought it was the brother from Canada that gave you that money? Yeah. No, it was not. Yeah, yeah, it's I, not. We, we have that problem, by the way. Yeah. I've heard of some brethren yeah. here, locally. Yeah. And after helping them, they think a, a, a white man is the one who went up to them. Yeah. Through me. That's a wrong mentality. Yeah. We should change those things, friends. That's we are another truth. generation. We should take we should we should take the work of God into our hands and do it with all our hearts. 
and yeah. with all our resources. Yeah. He wanted to say something. Uh, yeah. Even for us in Karamoja, whatever we call the meeting like this one, uh, we contribute by ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Some, somebody can, can give even a bull and then uh, goats and so forth and money. Uh, because the other time we had a meeting in, uh, in Lorena Chora, over 6,000 people. We collected over 40 million. And, and 30 goats. And then, uh, and then uh, bulls. Yeah. A contribution of the believers. Okay. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. It's like that. God bless you. This is what they do in Karamoja. They, they gather bulls. God bless you. These ones are from Kotido. It's another end of Karamoja. We had a big meeting there. I think more than 500. How much money? Come, come and testify. How much money did we give you, Brother Koryang, and the, the pastors there of that region? You need to confess some of these things. It is time for confession. Come clean. God bless you, church. Uh, when Brother Michael came there, never gave us anything but we contributed one, one million for that meeting the poorest of the poor collecting one million God. Okay. God bless uh, you Brother Koryang, what about when you were coming down here I told you we have brothers from America from Switzerland, from New Zealand how much, money, how much transport did I send you none, nothing, nothing. Huh. God bless you Friends, the, it is the end of that spirit of begging. Now, I've been misunderstood before. I have been misunderstood before. There is nothing wrong in me blessing a gift of money to brother David. Is there anything wrong with that? There is nothing wrong with him gifting me a gift of money. If, if you want to, we are looking for money to buy our land, brother David. Yeah, if you want to take us money, we shall receive it. You, you understand? But we are not going to beg for anything. We are sons of God, and this message has made them who they are, and this message should make us who we are, who, like what they are, they are also. It should change us. The message must prosper us. We must have vision ourselves. We must see what God is going to do if he tarries. We are the one going to do the work. We are the one going to move the gospel. And we need money to do that. So where will it come from? We must make the money and we must believe God and you promise to bless the work of our hands. And so, I don't believe in begging. And if you are a beggar here, may God, may God help you so that you will stop begging permanently. But you will become givers. Do you know why we beg here in Africa? It is because we don't give. Sincerely, after arranging a meeting like this, and then we will invite you, and then we will tell you, you are spending 120,000. You only, but we are asking you to only pay 50. And then, also register yourself so we can know you are coming, so we can look for the dollar. And then you don't register. We not, not a one this, uh, and then you simply show up. No jabuzi. And after showing up, I told you say, I have nothing, brother. No what is this mentality sincerely? I, I believe I am not out of order. S I should talk about this. To change this mentality. To choose and to believe in ourselves. I, I love Kaimosi. Kaimosi is a good example. I've, I've learned a lot from Pastor Butita. The build, it is a village, by the way. Their church is in a village. You know why I bring people there? Let me tell you. I want you to see that God can bless you whether you are in the city or in the village. 
They have a huge church. His brother, he built it with his hand. Together with the other people in the church. And I'm telling you, he supervised, of course, the work. He did not build by himself, but he supervised. <laughs> but really, it was a challenge. And so, friends, I believe we should rise to the challenge. And have the burden. Of supporting the work of God. And so I was telling our team that uh, next time if we ask you to register and you don't register and you show up, we shall ask you that to kindly go back. Because we are full. Would, would we be bad? Let us learn. Let us, I, God bless you, the, the team from Nairobi. Clap for them. These Nairobi people, Stand up. Let, let them see you. Let them from Nairobi. Uh, uh, the, this team from Nairobi, they all registered. They all paid their camp fee. And, and, and they all paid their transport. And we knew that they were coming long before they came. So that's why we are able to take care of them properly. Let us emulate them. God bless you. Club for them. So friends, I'm sorry I had to take the time to say this because it was really on my heart. And a man can only be who he is. If I hurt anybody's feelings, I don't have to do that. Uh, but I, I, I'm just saying the, what is in my heart. And uh, Pastor Moges in Ethiopia, this is what we taught in Ethiopia. Chino chetwa Ethiopia. And this is what you do. Era chino chokola. And uh, and uh, I believe this is what we should do here. Era nzikiza chino nafe chetu inokola wano. God is raising a generation, friends. Mukama alimu kui musomulembe. That we will take the work of God forward. O gudjo tuala ichikambo chakatunda maso. And we need to rise to the challenge. Era ngatu ino situ ka eri oksomozoko. Praise the Lord. Amen. So let us stand our feet. Katu mireku magulu gafe. And uh, close. We will go for lunch. I, I had invited my team, but they did not come, so I am Okay, thank you, Brother, Brother Enoch. He's reminding me that we did not give offering, and we need 2.9 million, so we are going to give our Sunday morning offering as well. And so we are going to give our Sunday morning offering as well. And so the deacons can pass the bags. Kind Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for these meetings that we are almost coming to a close. This morning, this early morning and this morning, we've had a wonderful, wonderful time. Men of God that have traveled from so far to come and be with us. To come and support us. To come and encourage our young people here in Uganda. And many have been a part of these meetings, Lord, from all across Africa. And other places. Oh Lord Jesus. We ask you to bless them. We ask you to grant the desires of their heart. And Lord, we, we also pray that as we are going to go for lunch and go to the next service, that will be another anointed moment. Lord, you will come and speak to us. You will come and minister to us. And we shall have a wonderful climax in the afternoon. Anoint our brother Timothy. As you yield himself to you for you to use him, Lord. May you anoint him, Lord. And I also anoint us to receive. We ask your blessings upon the offering that we are going to take. I ask that you will bless every giver. Bless our day, you promised bless the work of our hands and you also promised to bless a cheerful giver grant it Lord
Father, Jesus. we also ask your blessings upon the lunch we are going to have. Blessed I pray. In Jesus, Jesus. Amen. 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 Just before uh, when we go for lunch, the deacons will let us know when we should come back. And there's also a lost money. Now we are going to pay it back. Amen. 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 Amen.